What's going on guys, Alan here, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be doing a update on the Harbor Freight Atlas 80 volt self-propelled lawnmower. Um, I did the initial review, quick review, I entitled it, uh, about two months ago and when it just came out. Uh, so yes, being in Michigan, I did not have a lot of grass at that time. Uh, but now I do, if you look. Um, it's long as heck. I'm watering it already. Uh, but first I gotta trim it. I got my 40 volt links. Love that trimmer. So I'm gonna get that done. And then I'm gonna sample uh, mowing this tall grass for you guys real quick. Uh, and then I'll go through some pros and cons of this. Let's get started. All right, we are good to go. Here we go. You can hear it ramp up there. Gets to that tall stuff and ramps up again. And gets out of it. Goes back down. thicker grass here. There it goes, ramping up. go one more step 40 volt links brushless blower power all right guys so there you have it a uh, couple clips of cutting my grass I do not let this grass get long at all um, that's the longest I let it get just because we were away at the camper for Memorial Day weekend so that being said I do also cut my grass taller uh, just a personal preference I think it looks better I don't have to water it as much um, it helps choke out the weeds um, and it just it looks better. I like it There it is. This entire yard was done on cordless power equipment um, with the exception of the edger um, I'm not gonna pay that much money that um, For battery operated edger that I don't use that much so I just plug it in but uh, Okay So time to talk about the pros and cons of this thing <clears throat> I am gonna start don't mind my hair either um, but I went from 
every two weeks getting my hair cut uh, during this pandemic. It hasn't been cut in uh, three months, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and they're not set to open here in June until, or in Michigan until like June 12th. So um, this is gonna be my new look for a while. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, pros and cons. We're gonna start with the cons um, because I think it's better to end the video with pros, right? Um, that and the cons, uh, I don't know, big deal for me. So, all right, first con is the load sensing motor here. Uh, once it senses too much of a load, it will ramp up the RPMs on the motor. Um, you heard that, it's all good doesn't affect me none but what i did was i tried to cut my grass really long testing this thing out or really quick um so the ramp up time wasn't quick enough so it would miss some grass you know a couple couple blades here and there during the ramp up period uh so you know me cutting my grass at the speed i do because i have a small yard not a big deal uh, if you got a big yard could be a big deal um unless it's all thick and then it ramps up and then you don't have to worry about it. Next con on my list is the self-propelled uh, drive on this thing. Uh, first thing being, I uh, my Troy built was front wheel self-propelled. Um, it did have variable speed um, on the lever. The uh, biggest thing with that is that I liked was the lever was right here. So I could hold this down with one hand and then pull the lever with my other hand and let go. Really easy. This, it's way back here, man. You can't really, you can't grab it with one hand. You need to, um, so let's say, it wouldn't be, be a big deal if you had it up here and then you come to a corner and you just let it off slowly or a little bit like that and held it to disengage it, but it doesn't disengage there. Um, and I'll show you guys. So it engages right there. So you literally have to, you know, feather it here. And that's just not, it's not comfortable. One pro while we're talking about that is when you don't have this drive engaged, it pushes like a non self propelled mower. Um, very easy. You don't even notice it. So that is a plus with this. Um, so when talking about the engaging point, I ripped this part, um, to see if I can adjust anything. No, it's a button in here. So your cable pulls, it presses on the button. There's no way to adjust that. This is set into place. Yeah. If you wanted to get creative, you could, you know, make the holes bigger, slide this back or forward, but normal people just aren't going to want to do that. They're going to want to use this right out of the box and I'm not going to do that either. So for the most part, this self-propelled setup would be good if you got a long yard. I don't. So it kind of hinders me to use it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, while we're talking about the self-propelled, it's rear self-propelled. My old one was front. So when I came to a corner, I could just lift it up like this, the front wheels off the ground and then turn it. And the front wheels would stay spinning but they'd be in the air. Now this, I have to disengage because if if you go to turn while it's self-propelled, this inside tire will spin and just tear up your grass. So when I get close to a corner and I'm going, I disengage it. So real quick, let's go back to the um, motor speed. I tried picking up leaves with this thing. It would pick them up, but it doesn't on that lower RPM setting it doesn't have the force to suck the leaves off the ground so it leaves a layer there where you're uh, if you could you know throttle the RPMs on this motor you could crank them up and then be able to suck the leaves off the ground but this one it just just doesn't do that I believe that's the last con I got oh actually no uh, checking the oil in this thing is just a pain in the pain in the butt totally totally joke and i had to throw that in there i know it's a stupid stupid joke um okay on with the pros because i can't think of any more cons at the moment the pros to this thing it's perfect for me i'm in town i love my house i love my yard don't tease me for having a small yard in the comments um but 
I mean, for me, it does a great job. Um, I have a corner lot and it's bigger than a normal lot. And then I've got this whole side yard here. Um, so I have, I only have one battery cause that's all I need. <clears throat> um, so it takes me 45 minutes nonstop to mow all my grass. And here's the battery. Two. Normally I have three bars left. So I use about half a battery right now on this yard. So for me, that's huge because I don't have to spend a hundred bucks on another battery or whatever it is, $109 it is. I love having the battery operated and not having to worry about oil, anything like that. So let's go, let's talk about some comments that you guys um, left in the previous video. Uh, decibels, decibels, you know, I didn't study a lot on that before I did the test. But yes, yeah, somebody said they're logarithmic. Um, so literally this is a ton quieter than the gasoline motor. Uh, next one, blades for the bottom. I've already sharpened this blade. Unfortunately, I hit a rock um, in the side yard here. So I did take it off to sharpen it. The blade does not look as well constructed as a normal gasoline motor um, mower, gasoline mower. It, it's thinner so obviously that's going to be probably due to the you know brushless motor to keep some wear off of it uh, but as far as replacing those somebody did say lows this is just like the 80 volt cobalt i did check yes the the 21 inch blade for the cobalt is the same one for this uh, so usually what i do is i keep a sharpened one on the tool bench so i'll go pick one up and then i'll just swap them out whenever I hit a rocker every year or so. So the blade, that part's taken care of. Uh, another issue, you gotta buy the battery and the charger separate, yes, you do. I got this when it first came out. I got a killer deal on all of it. Um, those coupons are not valid anymore, no. I got 20% off of this whole mower, which dropped at like 70 bucks. Uh, battery and the charger, no, you could not. I couldn't get it on sale, I tried getting them to override a 20% coupon, but they're like, nope, you can't do it. So I paid full price for the battery. And because of that, I got the slow charger, which to me, not a big deal. I mow the grass, throw it on the charger, I'm good. Um, and it does take a long time, by the way. Somebody wanted to see me use the bagger. I totally forgot I didn't use the bagger. No big deal on that. It works fine. Just like I said, the leaves. Another thing that was brought up was the warranty on this. Yes, you do have to pay for a warranty, which I did not. Uh, I did, in fact, tear this cover off um, and check everything out. If something went on this, uh, most likely it's not going to be the motor. Most likely it's going to be the power distribution up top, which is, you know, it's got all your resistors and everything on it. If that went, I'm sure you could call up the company, order just that part, and it's literally like eight plugs six, six or eight plugs that i counted on under that um but you just plug in the new one put it on there and you'll be good to go even if you had to replace the motor at the bottom uh super easy to get to if you know how to use a wrench and a screwdriver i mean super easy so i you know it seems like it's built well a lot of people are saying you know it's the same as the cobalt it's the same as the snapper well those aren't cheap brands either so you got to look at it they're going to be constructed pretty similar so i i'm not going to worry about it um not to say somebody else somebody else just commented um on the video said theirs was cutting out after like 10 or 15 minutes i advised him to return it because obviously something's wrong with that unit um <clears throat> but overall that's what i think about this thing uh the big question for me is would i purchase that again knowing everything i know now i think this mower is going to fit some people and other people it won't uh i'm happy with the mower yes i do have some quirks that i wish i had ironed out in this like the self-propelled is probably my biggest one knowing what i know now big question is would i purchase this for me because of the self-propelled I would say no, and that is the only reason why. Uh, it cuts my grass great, even with the load sensing uh, RPMs, it still cuts my grass fine. 
Uh, I simply would not buy it again just because of the self-propelled. As a matter of fact, I probably would buy this, but I would buy the one that's not self-propelled just so I could have saved 70 bucks. Because that's, right now, that's the price difference. This is 320, that one's 250. Um, so yeah, I with that coupon that I used a long time ago, which is no longer available, I could have got the non-self-propelled for $200. Looking at it now, I would have either bought that one or I would have went with the Ego, um, honestly. Only reason I think I would go with the Ego is because I could battery match everything else, all the other equipment. I won't buy the 80 volt or the 40 volt for Atlas because I already use Lynx. And the Lynx stuff, the 40 volt, I, I absolutely love that stuff. There's no getting around that, so I wouldn't I wouldn't replace that for this stuff. I think that Lynx is better better quality. Um, so that's why I'm not gonna buy any more equipment from Atlas because frankly I just don't need it and it would be a downgrade from what I'm at. But anyway, a uh, little lengthy video, but I hope hopefully this helps you guys out with a follow-up video um, and answers a lot of those questions. So uh, please like, share, and subscribe to this video. Uh, until next time, catch you later.